Hello Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope that you're all well. Sorry for that. <laughs> Just moved uh, the stand that the laptop was on. I hope that you're all doing well and I hope you're safe and healthy in the world. Let's get some messages for you. I just did a, a reading, but I'll keep going because, you know, different messages can come out for different Pisces. Spirits, for the next group of Pisces, whoever this may resonate for, what have you got for them? What messages do they need to hear, please? What messages do they need to hear? Flying, wow, look at that, at the center of your read, flying. Some of you may have some energy right now and you feel like you can take on the world. You're getting a sense of freedom. Ooh, I'm getting a really great sense of freedom right now. Almost as though you're coming out of your own body. Some of you might be having outer body experiences. If you are meditating, you might just have some really great lighthearted energy. I'm also looking at all of the color of the horse with the wings and just how free this person feels. Could be dealing with a Leo or you've got Leo energy in your chart. You're getting a sense of confidence and I'm really looking at how that lion is roaring and I feel like you found your voice. But it, it's a calm strength. It's not a pushy strength. It's, it's a strength and confidence within and you are starting to feel good and secure about who you are. Because of that, I feel like things are getting a lot lighter in your life. For others of you, if you're not feeling like that at the moment, you will be. Flying towards something that you love. You've made a decision. This is the foundation. I feel like you couldn't see everything that you needed to see and you don't know exactly what your future holds, but some of you have given up on trying to control an outcome, an outcome to anything, anything and everything for that matter. And because you're releasing control, your emotions are not overpowering you. And you're basically allowing spirit in the universe to take over and guide you to where it is that you need to be or to where you're headed. And really look at all of that light that's coming down. You are getting some downloads. You're getting guidance. You're getting a lot of freedom. I'm going to pull out the rest of the cards and see what else we have here. Okay. Wow, look at you. Pisces. This is Pisces, Pisces. Okay. We're going to see the external environment energy around. Vice. Oops. We're going to do that again. What is the advice? That was the temperance and the three of pentacles, but okay. Yes, beautiful. And outcome. Oh, Pisces, look at you showing up. Showing up all over your reading. All right. So, some of you. So at the center of the read, you've got that flying card. You're starting to feel strong. Um, a helper hindrance could have been the strength card. You could have been dealing with a Leo. Or there is some self-esteem issues or strength issues that maybe were holding you back that now you're coming past. Or for some of you, you already were in that space. And that's why you feel that ability to fly. You're relinquishing control. I feel as though you've had some new opportunities. In the recent past, you could have had a proposal of some sort. It could have been a business proposal, an offer for a new job, or an opportunity to make more money, some more financial abundant opportunities. Maybe work is picking up, possibly a promotion. This is new opportunities to make money. I feel that 
some of you are not focused on love right now. Your emotions, like I said, are under control. They're not overflowing. But some of you right now, new relationships, even if maybe that was what an offer was in the past, that's not what you're interested in right now. And the reason why is because, like I said, you relinquished control. Because in the near future, here you are. The hanged man, Pisces energy, getting that new perspective on things, allowing life to flow as it will. And because of that, I find that I think that there's going to be some big changes for you. Your energy and how you're affecting the situation right now is the page of wands, a curiosity. This is again Leo. Sagittarius or any Aries energy, sorry. So you might be having some new opportunities. You might be curious to travel or if you can't travel right now, there's some kind of a journey that you're going to be going on. And it's one that again is going to be setting you free. Perhaps you've already started this journey and it's just in the beginning phases. And it's because again, like we said, you relinquish control here. And the energy around you, the environment around you, the wounded warrior. People have seen that you've been through a lot. But also, I think that they're, they're feeling that you are putting up more boundaries and barriers around you to protect yourself and to focus on your goals. And you're going to keep going. You're not letting anything from the past deter you or bring you down. The advice is the Knight of Cups. Keep following your heart. Keep going after the things that you love, but put the action into it as well, which is what we're seeing here. It's putting the action in, but only the action towards the things that you love. You're not fighting against the currents of life, but instead you're letting your heart guide you. And the outcome is you, beautiful Pisces, in your beautiful, perfect, high priestess energy, the all knowing. Maybe even using your gifts for something. And maybe that's what this is. Maybe some of you have had a breakthrough as of late. Some of you, that's why you're feeling free, like you're flying, is because you've had some kind of spiritual awakening in the recent past. Something that you didn't see has now become clear to you. There could be some mental process or clarity. And... It had to do with laying down your swords against the forces of life, knowing that you can only control yourself. You can't control the things around you. So what is this Ace of Cups, please? I'd like to know what the Ace of Cups is. All right. Some of you turned down a romantic proposal, and this is from somebody who was very greedy. If it wasn't a romantic proposal you could be struggling a little bit with somebody in your life who may be very greedy controlling someone who's obsessed with status and power and money looks that sort of thing just greed greed with a lack of emotion narcissistic tendencies that could have been what is around you for others of you, it could simply mean that if you were focused on materialisms, maybe even if you felt a little bit greedy as of late, maybe you didn't even realize you were being so, or maybe you didn't even realize you were being so focused on status, you're going to get that epiphany very quickly. And you're going to realize that it's not about how other people see you it's not about your title it's not about the clothes that you wear it's not about how you style your hair it's not about the makeup that you're wearing it's not about the brand names it's not about your bank account it's not about the car you drive what it comes down to is filling the emptiness inside which was not being true to yourself and not being authentic in how you deal with life. And now I think some of you, maybe that's what the laying down of the swords is. Some of you may even start selling off things, decluttering around the house. Maybe you're starting to realize that you have enough 
you have all that you need in terms of money and security in terms of abundance, like material abundance. But now you're starting to realize, do I need all of this stuff? What does it bring to me? What, what is the point of having all of this stuff? I mean, is it making me happy? No, I don't need all of this. Why? Because what you do need is to find yourself, which would make sense as to why there is all of you in this reading. Both your cards here, as well as the Knight of Cups, the Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. But you have Pisces here and Pisces here, both in the near future. One is the long-term outcome, which is harnessing your powers and your gifts. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're harnessing your gifts and possibly whatever those gifts are. And I think that that's what this journey is about, is you're going to find things about yourself. Secrets are going to be revealed to you. There are going to be things that you've been carrying in your entire life that you never even knew you had. Abilities and talents. And they are going to become clear to you. And those abilities and talents, you're going to find the strength to actually show those to the world because they will no longer be hidden behind false facades. Now, it's about you being exposed to the world, hanging there for everybody to see and being okay with it, being calm. See how calm that person is? It's like you're going to be proud now of who you are and what you are. Rebirth, I'm getting a rebirth, another rebirth. You're gonna be seeing things differently. Also with a strength, and I think that other people are gonna see that too. There's a wisdom here. And perhaps you're going to help other people fly. And maybe it's just a matter of simply the beauty of your unique perception that you're bringing to other people's lives. What is this Ace of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Ace of Pentacles in the recent past? Right. Six of Swords. Didn't I say it? Walking away from materialism statuses, walking away from labels. Your spirit guides are with you. You could have gone through a stormy moment in the recent past. It, it may have been very stormy. I say that because look at all that stormy water there underneath the hangman. It was very stormy. And for some of you, it could have even felt very challenging. And maybe you didn't even think that you were going to come out of it. And now all of a sudden, and when I say that you didn't think you were going to come out of it at all is because there was that at the foundation. Things that you've been blocking, whatever they are, they've come forward now. I feel like the blindfold is off. And you. I feel like you've laid down your swords. So this will be something specific and special To whoever this resonates for you'll know what the message is you'll know what that epiphany was you'll know what that growth was but you'll also see the benefits of how it's going to expose you and how you are going to be showing up going forward what is the high priestess please spirit That's right. Gifts, support, nostalgia. But again, I'm not feeling that this is missing somebody in that sense. I think if anything, like I said, this is parts of you that you've had your whole life that you didn't even know that are going to surface from behind the veil and you're going to be blown away. And that's the thing about Pisces. We continue to go through this, through life. There's so much that we've deceived and hidden from ourselves because we've been such people pleasers that, and not all of us, of course, but for, the, for a lot of us, we've become, or we have become people pleasers because we're, we're the martyr, which is what this card also stands for. The martyr, someone who sacrifices for others, right? But in that sacrifice, now, I feel like you're sacrificing for yourself by getting rid 
of a lot of clutter and a lot of things that you don't need to bring you closer in alignment to you, yourself, and self-love. And I think you're going to feel really free. And maybe that's why you'll be flying is just because you're going to offload all of this stuff that you're carrying, this needless stuff. Maybe even if it's just cleaning out the clutter in your closet, old clothes that you no longer need and donating them to somebody else and then buying a whole new wardrobe, not expensive, maybe even at a secondhand thrift store. And maybe that's going to recreate your image. Maybe as a wiser self, as an older self. Some of you will be embracing the changes in the age in life now because you're letting go of a time in your life when you were younger, a childhood, right? Like now, maybe some of you are transitioning into adulthood. Maybe some of you are transitioning into your later years, but you're going to be okay with it because in that transition and in the sacrifice and letting go, letting go of this past, everything becomes anew again. It's always rebirth. Cycles of endings and births, ending and endings and births. It's beautiful. All right, let us get you an advice card. What is the advice for Pisces, please? Surrendering worry. There we go. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them in and out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Wow, what did I say? You guys are letting go. There's a lot that you're letting go of. You're releasing it all. Your spirit guides are here and they are guiding you. You are flying. You're being free. And you're following your heart now because that is an action card. This is somebody who acts based on their heart. Maybe some of you will be with your donations and such. Maybe even some of you will be helping kids. Maybe you'll start helping kids online who, who need extra tutoring. Or maybe you'll be training kids um, in terms of teaching them. Because if we go into another lockdown, which is also happening, maybe there's going to be services that you're going to be offering. But mostly, I, I feel like whatever it is that you're sacrificing or surrendering here, maybe it's the, the old clothes that you're going to clean out, you're going to be helping somebody because they're going to need those clothes. So even if you donate them for free, you're going to be putting clothes on someone else's back and it's going to be a huge gift to them. There's something here that you're, you're surrendering and you're giving up, but you're doing it for yourself. And little did you know that as you finally become a martyr for yourself, and you sacrifice the things that you quote unquote thought you loved, being materialisms and possessions, you end up gifting somebody else in the world in some way, shape, or form. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, love it. All right, Pisces. Hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Hope this resonated for someone out there. Uh, if it did, let me know in the comments. Okay, keep moving towards you. <laughs> Bye.